Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 15 of the Beginner's Guide series, and my plans for this episode have kind of been scuppered. I was planning on going on a bit of a journey, uh, but unfortunately that journey takes us quite far away from base. And if we bring up our inventory screen, you can see our purge meter is very, very close to the line where the purge will get activated. So therefore, I don't want to go too far away from base right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some stuff closer to home. Uh, so if the purge does happen, we'll be here to be able to defend it. So one of the first things I'm going to do is as just a, a bit of helpful items way back early doors when we learned the Thrall Taker, we learned how to make a Thrall Pot. Where do we craft that though? Oh, it's maybe in the carpentry bench. Uh, thrall Pot, yeah. So we use a Thrall Pot, that means we can feed all our Thralls at the same time without having to go through each one individually. So this is, normally we don't use it at all and from a day-to-day -day point of view you don't have to feed your Thralls. Um, it's just handy as a boost when you're out adventuring and for them to heal but in the middle of a purge when they're all if they're all getting attacked they can all grab food themselves from the thrall pot and eat and keep them up in date so i like to use it in purge it's maybe not everybody's you could just stack them up individually but to do that we're going to need a bit of iron and some more sticks so let's grab that iron there's our sticks in here there is stick them in here uh, stick them all in there and craft a thrall pot. There we go. Uh, we'll stick it over. So this is this is the front of the base and this is the the side. So the thralls are all along that front and down there. So by sticking it in this corner, it will get them all. So we'll stick it there. And what we'll do is we'll make a bunch of. What have we got in there? Not a lot. We'll make a bunch of gruel and just drop it in there for them to feed on at purge time. But, uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll actually just go and grab some... I think we've got plenty of fibre, we just didn't have seeds. So let's just grab some of that quickly. And we also didn't have any fuel for our cooking campfire so we need to we really need to upgrade the campfire to the bigger the bigger version uh, we're still using the, the basic campfire that we had in episode one right that'll do so let's just grab some coal there should be a node of coal there's one there just to fuel it we won't actually cook it yet because it will spoil so we'll just have it ready to go not sure how much room we've got in our fridge. But if we stick it in the, there, we'll be able to cook it and then just throw it in the thrall pot once the purge activates. In here. There we go. So we'll put the seeds in there and the fibre in there and the coal in there and that'll be ready for us. When it happens, uh, I think I've got another two treasure seekers. Uh, I think I maybe have a spare weapon here. I do. Ooh, feel the pains here. Yep, that one's good to go. Ooh, so heavy. Okay, let's just place her down at here. There she is. So she has a demon fire orb and some iron daggers. We'll give her that and we'll deck her out in this gear. Set you on guard me and then take you outside. We'll just leave you there for just now. That'll do. Stand guard right there. 
Right, so what we'll do... Uh, it's got some food. So this is the berserker that we brought back from up north in the last episode. And he's all tamed up and he's decked out in his gear. You can see he's got his star metal greatsword, which by default does 56 damage in 19 armor pen. Let's get him a, a damage kit for that. Got any crafted in here? We do not. Uh, we need 10 iron bar, uh, 10 hardened steel bars for that. Which we don't have in there. We should have in here. 10. Uh, let's throw that away. Don't want that. We'll put the iron daggers in there. We'll put the demon fire orb in there. Let's make him a kit. I'm starting to run low of oil. Do we still have made more oil? I've got a bunch more oil in, there. in here. Uh, so we crafted it. Right, so the berserker is probably going to be the thrall that we're going to take. Right, so that boosted up to 62. That's going to be the guy that we're going to actually use as a follower during the purge. So let's go and just get some levels on him. Take him down here. And let's, has he got his boost? He does have the strength boost, so let's tell him to go and kill that. And kill that. Oh, we need to name him. Let's name him. Uh, so, of course, we change the ER to WAR, and we change him to Berserker Bob. Good guy, Bob. Uh, okay, let's kill that one. And let's go through here. Right. I don't think I've ever shown you the killing of those guys in the island there. So let's let's go and do that on... These are all the guys that I use for leveling. So we'll kill all these shalebacks. There's a king in there. That brown one there that's walking about is a King Kappa. Which is a, I think it's a one star, pretty easy boss to deal with. And then what we'll do is we'll head over there to the Warmaker Sanctuary and outside there there's a bunch of skeletons and undead guys that we can fight. You look bigger, are you a demon? You are a demon. So there's a corrupted one so you get a good amount of XP from them. Blue and blue eyes. What's he got? 1,274 health. I think we fought one of these guys down a new river. Just a random. The, all these spawns that are. Yeah, I would pick him. We should get demon blood from him. We did, but not very much. Him. And get him. Right. So, obviously, they, they won't typically swim with you, they kind of have to teleport to you. But there's kind of a land bridge here that you can kind of get across. And then if we tell it to move over here and attack this one, and hopefully get him to come across. Oh, he's kind of stuck in the water, typical. Come on, come on, over here. Come on. 
Oh, and the mole. Here we go. Here he is. Right. Get them. King Kappa's coming. Found that one. Just as it gets dark. Uh, that one. That one. So let's hit him. He's like 5,455 one skull boss. Just get some stacks of bleed on him. Just I'll stay behind him, just stack him up. Pause and get a wee drink. jump that it did for such a large creature. Follower leveled up. That's what you know. Can you see? Can you see your level? You're level 4. Up to 4,745 health. Okay. I'll bring you back, I'll just level this guy up and I'll bring you back, what are we at now? So it's still one pixel away from the bar. But I'll bring you back if we can get a purge to, to trigger. Okay, I don't know whether you caught that, but we've just triggered the purge. So it says a plague of locusts is going to attack us. And you can see in the right hand side of the screen there, it says purging coming and it was a 10 minute timer. So we I had actually taken Berserker Bob out and uh, got him leveled up to I think level 6. Uh, so I then went back to the base, Did I'd done the loop of all the all the different uh, shale backs and the skeletons and stuff. So I then went and picked up this other seeker that was needing leveled up. So she is now level 4. Let's let's just quickly pop in here and finish this off. We've got we've got a little bit of time. Get a few more levels. Get her to come across here. Come on. Get her to pop in. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Nope. Come on. Don't don't run around there. There she goes. Pulled, pulled all three on the King Kappa. Let's pack some. Oh, we'll get some exotic flesh, it's fine. Uh, don't want that, don't want that. I'll keep that, I don't want the head either, I don't want the eggs. Okay, let's get back and get purge prepped. Got seven minutes to go. I'll see you back at base.
Right, we're back home. Uh, so, I don't know if I showed you all this, but we've renamed all these. This is Seeker Sophie, Seeker Scott, Seeker Sydney, Seeker Simon, Seeker Steve, and Seeker Sean. So, we're going to put you over here as well. Uh, and we'll rename you to Seeker uh, Sarah. All Seekers with names beginning with an S, and all Berserkers will have names beginning with a B. Okay, alright, we need to get the Gruel going now. So let's get that cooking. What I'll do. Right. Put all that in there. Put that in there. And you can see down the side here all the different Oh, sink upstairs as well, I forgot about her. All the different thralls that will be feeding from this pot, as and when required. Alright, I'll we'll drop this stuff off in here. Uh, I can go in here. I took on a couple of the locusts up in inside the, the big boss guy. That in there. Some more tar made. Okay, that's us prepped with two minutes fifty to go. So we just have to wait it out now. Right, here we go. Counting down the last few seconds. So we're spying them from up here. Right, Plague of Locusts is attacking. So we have to just see if we can find where they're spawning at. I don't see any oh, coming from that direction. Sometimes come up this hill here. Don't see any there either. And some, oh, there they are down there. The green poison ones. So they won't be able to get to us from down there because of the cliff, but they should wander their way up and come over this side. Here they come. Right. So that one down. Where's the other ones? Come in. Here they go. Here we go. Got them triggered now. Not just that. Wow, I should have made some more bandages. Right, that's not them all, because the way it works, it comes in f waves, and when you defeat a wave, oh, there's one, it says that they're regrouping. It's going for you. Still not regrouping, so there must be more. There's one there. Oh, and another one. Are they not coming for us? Come to help. Head over here. There they go. Nope, 
still not done. More? There's another one. Up you come. There we go, so that's the wave done, so they'll regroup. So we'll now get a minute or so to sort everything out. Let's see, do we get ichor from these things? What we do? Tidy up the mess. By the time the whole purge is finished, you end up with a lot of bodies. Had a box. So, have you guys got to getting food? He's not picking up food. Or has he used all his food? You're not picking up food either. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll use this time to go and grab you some food. The thrall pot's not working. So let's grab a couple of stacks of that. Let's drop off the Icar and the Sand River stuff. Right. So let's split that. Split that. Split that and go. You have 50. Oh, there we go. They're coming back again. You can have 10 because you didn't do much fighting. You can have 50. Get them all healing up. Fully healed this guy is already. Drop that. Right, where's the next batch coming from? Different place, the same place. Oh, there they go. They're coming up the stairs to get me. Guarding the area either, they're waiting to get attacked first. Right, get him. Come from down here? Ah, yeah, there's more down there. All the green ones. Come on from the side. stuck on each other. None down here. Must all be coming from the other side. There's another one. that wave done. So let's chop them up as well. What's going on with you guys? Right, you stand. Ok, 
Yeah, 37 seconds it's telling us this time. You still got your food. Don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Could really do with some healing wraps. We don't really have time to make anyone better, so let's just get some basic ones going. We've got 10 seconds. Uh, healing wraps. There's the basic ones. Just enough to stop the again. Oh, some of the big boys this time. These are the same guys that we we fought up to the, the north of the oasis. So there won't be any issue. through them. Oh, somebody else fighting. Oh. Yeah. oh, some humans. So you can get some interesting thralls come out when you get the humans. But these look just like the yeah, Defari fighter. The Tafari Archer. Yep. Take him out. I'll go look for other ones. Anything down there? Don't see anything. Ah, there we go. There's more. Coming up the hill slowly but slowly. that wave done. And we're regrouping again. Alright, let's clear up some of the mess. Uh, oh, he's got water on him. We'll take the water. Yeah, I don't basically want to chop him up. We've got to have a rather abundance of Icker and uh, chuck that. Let's put that on there. Yeah, sand reaver toxin glands. We've got a bit much. Let's go and dump some of it in here. Oh. That one go through the window. actually make some of the poison to put on our weapons with that stuff, but again we're not going to do that right now. Uh, give you that. Oh, we've got wraps in here. Chuck that. Okay, and next wave. Back in your positions, yep. There's a big one. I could never tell which ones are the queen from a distance. Is there anything down here? Nope. So it's just those ones at the moment. Yeah, you're not queen. They're just one of those ones from up there and then two of the little ones. <laughs> Oh, 
here. Come up here. Come meet my friends. <laughs> them all down. Alright, let's go and see if we can find some more. Any more stuck down here? Oh yes. Oh yes. Come on then. In fact, we'll just take you on. Ow. Okay. Come on. Come with me. As you can see, although if I go to settings, server settings, purge, we're on the maximum difficulty purge, level six. But because we've got such such a good army of followers here, they can just tear through these guys no problem at all. Thinking about it now, I should have actually left all these corpses from all the phases, and then you could have seen. <laughs> seen how many there is and the devastation that has been left behind but it just makes it easier to see what you're fighting if you clear up as you go right, we've got 40 seconds again let's get that in there in fact, i'm just going to drop the rest of this because we've got way too much of it put There. Yeah, you can give me some more food. There you go. Okay, six seconds. Next phase. Some coming from over there, and some coming from over there. Don't see anything down that side. Oh, a human as well. Just a fighter one. Oh. Are you stuck in the trees? Are you coming? Are you a boss? You look bigger. Yes, you are. But just a one skull. Fari Archer. Oh, and another one. Huda. Bob's gonna get ya. Bob got ya. I will destroy you. That's it. Any more? Any more? Any more? Oh, what was that noise? Oh, you're stuck over here. Come on in. Oh, done. 
Sean, are you really having trouble running over there? Stand there. Right, chop these guys up. You, Icar, Demon Blood, Glowing Essence. Nothing very exciting. Right, surely we'll get a three star boss in the next one. Six seconds. That's all the corpses, yep. Here, pick on there, and we'll just drop. We'll keep that. Keep that. How's our armor's looking? Okay, our weapons are okay. Ten seconds. That is definitely a queen with a fork tail. And an archer. Right. So we want to pull it round enough so that they all get a shot at it and not just those two. for the archer. Swipe, swipe, and then it's got spew. Empty it, empty it, getting involved. Oh, no. There they go. Right. Let's stand back and just glory in the arm. Bearing in mind, I think only one of these has got the level 10 to get the level part. The rest are sort of 6 and 7. Here we go. Plague of Locusts has been defeated, and we've got the journey step Survive a Purge. So let's chop you up. Got a skeleton key. And obviously, we don't have a box right here. It's going to. So everybody survived, nobody died, from our team, anyway. Alright, let's stick this in here. Put that in there, put that, throw that, throw that. Uh, this chest will put the demon blood in the glowing essence. And let's go and take the skeleton key and I'll go and try and find the Rhino King's chest and we'll go and get ourselves a legendary weapon just to round off the episode. So it's out the other side of Sepamaru. So down here without running anybody over. Oh, stuck. Oh, oh. oh that was close. Nearly runs on the over. So, if we kind of hug this cliff wall here, 
And if I can remember which part of the wall it's at. There's the Rhino King boss over there. I think it might just be this bit of wall here. There it is. So, Rhino King over there. Sipper Maru just behind us here. And we get off and we use our key on this chest. We got Baal Pitor's Lodestone. Which I have a feeling is a two handed mace. Come on. Come on, Bob. There you go. As the moon goes flying across the top of the volcano. Alright. Let's go on back to base to say our goodbyes. So we're just coming back into Sepamaru to get back home again and of course Bob here was set to a uh, guard area. So when I popped off the horse just to get the, the chest at the set there, he decided to take on everyone in the area. So we, we had a bit of a large fight there. So I've got him sorted out now and he's on guard me again, but I'll come past here and there's a blacksmith one and a named Edgesmith. So we've given him the truncheon, we're going to take him. So you get him and I'll take her. So that was a lucky. We've, we got a named blacksmith from here just randomly the other day. But uh, there's, a, there's another one now, so you can never go past a, a named th thrall without taking them. You got anything? Just some iron bars. So let's get our chains. Oh, there's a. Let's go! There's an archer fighting us, but. Let's get out of here. So yeah, that was fortunate. So we're going to quickly stick them in the wheel of pain. Because also, the priests that were at the set altar there in the temple quarter, one of them was a named set priest. Uh, put you in there, hit play. And we got daggers of a thousand bites from them. So that's a legendary dagger set. So that's considerably better. 45 damage, 18 armor pen over my 15 and 16 that I've got at the moment. And then we've got a Bunch of items from our uh, chest chest hunt there. So there we go. We're back here. We the horses on the stairs. We've uh, survived our first purge today. So our super squad of seekers and Bob the Berserker there did absolutely fantastic against the the plague of locusts in our first purge. Our building is all in one piece, so we're all good. And just checking, the purge meter is now all the way back down to zero, so we've got a good bit of time before we have to fight another purge. I might actually increase the rate that you gain the points to increase, because uh, obviously we've gained a lot of points with building and stuff over over this series, um, and we won't be doing quite as much of that. So to try and bring on purges a bit quicker, I might increase that a little bit. But for now... I hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye now!